Well, it's only Wednesday, and it looks like Budweiser's already getting destroyed this week. So not only has Bud Light lost its number one spot, it's getting ratioed everywhere. It's giving away beer and money, and nobody's buying it. And to top it all off, we all know the marketers got fired, and Budweiser's trying to hide it. So let's get right into it. Bud Light giving away beer for free to try and save July 4 sales. So I know a few weeks ago I did a video on a rebate that essentially paid you to drink Bud Light. Well, they're continuing that trend. They're still running the rebates, and they're going to run them through July 4th, hoping you'll buy their shitty beer. The rebate announced for the July 4th holiday makes Bud Light beer free in some areas, as Target website shows a 15-pack of beer currently selling for around $12.99. Oh, I don't think Target was the good way to go with that one. So that's hit number one for the week. Ready for hit number two? Anheuser-Busch CEO Brendan Whitworth says financial assistance is being sent to wholesalers, beer distributors impacted by boycott backlash. So if tanking sales weren't enough, and them giving away beer, they're actually having to buy back the beer from their wholesalers. And since their wholesalers aren't selling the product, Budweiser is now giving financial assistance to those wholesalers. CEO of Anheuser-Busch, the parent company of Bud Light, said financial assistance has already begun being sent to wholesalers and beer distributors affected by a two-month sales decline caused by an ongoing customer boycott. If you hadn't have screwed up, you wouldn't be having these problems, would you? Now here's the BS corporate line. I think it's important, honestly, on the employees that weighs the most on me. You don't give a shit about the employees. Again, as I mentioned, seeing the pride and the commitment that they have working on behalf of a 165 plus year old American institution is what gives us energy as we look to move forward and focus on what we do best. What you did best, and I'm not even saying it was good, what you did best was make beer. You stepped outside of that, and you waded into the culture war. And guess what? You chose the wrong side. Conservatives like Kid Rock, Travis Tritt, joined the uproar calling for a boycott of the popular brew. Not anymore. Hats off to Modelo. Viral videos even show people shooting and dumping Bud Light cans based. As a result, many members of the Alphabet community also joined the boycott, upset with how Anheuser-Busch distanced itself following the backlash through a series of statements. 26% decline. Alphabet crew isn't buying their beer. Never was. Now, here, here's the PR statement if I've ever seen one. Over the last month, we've talked to over 100,000 consumers, and their feedback is very clear. What is it? The feedback is to reinforce what Bud Light has always meant to them, which is good times, goodwill, and easy enjoyment. You spent over 100 years building goodwill, and you threw it away over an alphabet person, you're not getting that back. Now what you're all here for, I'm sure, Anheuser-Busch denies claims it fired two top marketing executives responsible for Bud Light's disastrous Dylan Mulvaney campaign and maintains pair on leave of absence. I'm sure somewhere there's some HR moron freaking out because everybody's figuring out they got fired and they're not on a leave of absence. But let's get into it. Anheuser-Busch execs have seemingly denied reports that the company fired two top marketing execs who were found responsible for Bud Light's disastrous campaign. Maybe if they just kept their mouth shut, they'd still have a job. The Daily Caller reported on Tuesday that the beer giant officially fired Group Vice President of Marketing Daniel Blake and Bud Light Marketing Vice President Alyssa Heinerscheid, citing text messages with an unknown regional marketing leader at the company. Text messages always get you, don't they? And here we go to the now-fired person who caused a 26% decline. Heinerstein, meanwhile, touted her strategy to ditch Bud Light's fratty reputation and embrace inclusivity and attract young generations of drinkers in an interview just days before Dylan ad was released. Bud Light wasn't reporting 26% sales declines before you. So she goes on to do the blah, 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 blah speech. What I need to do is help this brand to evolve. This is my passion point. The job's not about your passion. The job is about making the company money and not pissing off your customers. And you failed at that horribly. And here we can see Bud Light sales plunge after Mulvaney tie-up. April 22nd, down 21%. Going into June, 
nearly 20% sales plunge. And I've already seen the mainstream media try and say, well, everything's declining. No. Modelo is up, I believe, 21%. Miller's up a bunch. It's just cope. Everybody is sick of the stupidity that goes on during this month. It's gone too far. And this is the result. Now let's have a little bit of a giggle here. Bud Light finally started tweeting again. And it's been hilarious. Every tweet they put out has been a ratio. Bud Light, the hero every summer party deserves. You're not a hero. 100 likes, 746 comments. That's just an hour ago. It's going great. Is it though? Is it? 3,200 comments, 386 likes, another ratio. That was just yesterday. Guess who's back? They even retweeted from another account so it wasn't them. Let's, let's look at these. This is what you should have tweeted when you came back. To all our customers, we heard you. We fucked up. We have a new team. We hope they get back to us cool in the fridge. Ah. Oh. Yep, that's that's a better uh, that's a better ad to come back to. <laughs> nice Ghostbusters reference. Choose your destroyer, the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. <laughs> oh, I'm back. The boycott continues. Oh, the best the best American beer ever. America loves Bud Light. Easy there, window licker. You forgot your helmet and crayons. Ah, oh, the internet is so savage. I love it. So guys, I want to know, are you going to use your rebate to uh, get paid to buy Budweiser? And uh, what are you going to do with it after? I want to hear your thoughts. But drop me a like, make sure you're subbed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.